Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy's Promen here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about a very helpful and useful application that not a lot of people know about or is definitely underrated. And it'll help you to diagnose your phone, get a hold of Samsung, do troubleshooting, and so much more. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jamia's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. The application that we will be talking about today is called Samsung Plus. Now, this is the name of the application in the United States. If you're from another country, it could be called Samsung Members. Now, in order for you to open up this application or download it, first check over into your Samsung application when you first got your phone. It could be pre-installed with a device inside of your Samsung folder. If it is not there, I know that in the United States, if you go to your Play Store, you can actually search for Samsung Plus right here. You can get this one downloaded. And also, if you don't want to go through the Play Store to get this, you can simply swipe up or get inside of your application tray. On the very top right-hand side, you are able to go inside of the Galaxy Essentials. And this is the pretty much the application store that is made by Samsung for Samsung. And inside of the Galaxy Essentials apps here, this is where you can search for either Samsung Members or Samsung Plus. Now, once you have this one downloaded and installed, or if it's already pre-installed in your Samsung device inside of your Samsung folder, this is the newest up-to-date look of what this application looks like. Now, previously I did shoot a video of Samsung Plus and it was the old design. It was pretty much the old version of the application. I'll actually play that video right after this one, just in case if you have the older version of Samsung Plus and you would like to check out how that one is set up because down here, all of those little options is actually on the bottom. But in the previous video I shot, it was everything over here with this little circle um, that was in that version. On the main menu here, you'll be able to go through and swipe through all the different devices that you have set up through your Samsung account. So this way you can get information and check pretty much everything out with those products. You can also go on a search on the very top. This one will allow you to search for things and find discussion boards and topics for what you're trying to find. You'll also be able to add more or uh, put more products with your account. And then this one is going to be your account information. Now below that is going to be some troubleshooting categories. You can view all and check everything out, but these right here will be the main four that they're showing off, at least with this application for this time being, which you can learn everything with power and battery, the how to's, you can learn about maintenance as well as data and backup. So if you click on maintenance, you'll be able to you know, go through these different categories and topics to learn what you would like to learn there. Here are some recommended uh, videos and go throughs and tutorials of pretty much anything with Samsung. So it's not just the cell phones, but learning about the refrigerators and televisions and everything else. So that pretty much does it for the home tab. The next one that we will go over is diagnostic. And this is one that's also pretty important as well as the very last one where you're able to contact Samsung. Now with the diagnostic, diagnostic tab here, there's four different things that you're able to do. You can check out your storage manager, you can do some connection speed tests, as well as check out your battery forecast, and there is a battery optimize option right over here. Now, as you can see, there is these four things, but anytime you click on one of those four, you do have the option when you go inside that screen that you can actually scroll through it on the very top as well. So you don't always have to hit the back button anytime that you want to go to another category. So first off, let's go inside of this uh, storage manager right here. And so this is where you can free up some of the storage, some of the cached information that you really don't need or some applications that you just want to delete. Now I will be hitting the back on this one just to show you it takes you to this screen, but on the next one, I'll scroll through the top. Now let's check out the connection speed. And so inside of here, this is where you're able to diagnose your speed test if you want to test it on mobile. So if you go through different areas of the country, you're able to do a speed test and then you can also test your Wi-Fi. But because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi at this moment in time, my Wi-Fi icon is actually turned off. Um, I will not be going through this, but you are able to test the speeds inside your home. This screen simply just shows the battery forecast. So it'll show you when your battery is to die. Now let's say that you go up here and you wanted to charge it for maybe about 30 minutes. It'll show you how much battery percentage that you'll have if you're to charge it for just that little 30 minutes. And then you can also do a battery optimizer. So if you want to, um, I actually have some sound off. So it is actually saving my battery because there is no ringtones or any volumes of anything that's actually on at this moment in time. Uh, my screen timeout is two minutes, so it is consuming a little bit of battery. So you are able to actually go through here and you can um, change it actually through this application here um, that now it's going to have a screen time off of 15 seconds, which it would be saving battery. The only thing is that I don't want to turn off during this video as I'm shooting. 
thing. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it back at two minutes. So you can actually go through a couple of these simple things here, toggle them on, toggle them off to give you just a little bit more battery life. And then you can also just go through and you can actually optimize all the settings with pretty much one touch. Now, we just finished with all the diagnostic stuff of these four different um, categories. Underneath learn, this is just an area that you can learn some things, uh, so you can learn to do more and you can view all of these videos, uh, all the featured stuff. So some of this is actually on the homepage. Um, and then you can also check out life hacks and a whole bunch of really cool things. So if you wanna learn a little bit more um, on your own time, pretty much any, any point in the day, you're able to go through this application and learn some cool stuff. Now, community inside of here, if I was to pretty much sign in, which I think it'll do it with that click there, this is putting me onto the Samsung community so I can go inside of uh, general discussions so I can add my input to certain things, I can ask questions, people will respond back to me, but the main one will be able to get help. So this is where you're able to call support so you can get a hold of Samsung if you have any questions. You can text them, you can check out the community as we talked about from before. You can actually find a store that's near you and you can do a video chat. So I love this page here because it's one application you open up. You don't have to do a simple Google search that gives you a general number. You can actually just click right here. It'll call the support. You hit call and then it goes right through. So I find it super extremely helpful to have this application so you can actually get a hold of Samsung if you have any questions. Um, I've actually done the text chat quite a few times. Uh, and actually, the first time I did this, or the last time I did this, I should say, was when I was reaching out to them to give me that additional uh, piece of equipment for the Gear VR for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, that little adapter. So this right here helped me out. They pointed me in the right direction, sent me that piece, and then I was good and happy. So really the main stuff I want to talk about with this video was going to be the home uh, diagnostic as well as getting your help. Now right after this, I'm actually going to cut to my old video if you wanted to watch the old version of this application. If you own that one, it's pretty much almost set up very similar to this in terms of all these different you know, menus and diagnostics and stuff. It just happens to have a little circle right over here, but I'm going to add that just in case case for anybody who would like to watch the older version application. And outside of that, if you guys don't get to the end of that video, make sure you guys hit on subscribe, hit on like, uh, share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, let's pop to this old video and I'll see you guys on the next one. One of the ways that this application helps you is that if you are trying to contact Samsung by either doing it as a video chat, contact us, or a text chat, it already has your information built in as long as you gave it all the permissions and you filled in all the correct information. So it would know your first and last name, it would know your phone number, and it'll know the IMEI. So when you go down to this plus icon and you want to video chat, call them, or text them, they will already know that bit of information. Now some of the other things that is not really used is going underneath diagnostics. So underneath here, you're able to check out your overall health. So down over here for basically your entire phone, it is doing a little test, checking out everything for reboots and irregular charging, um, storage usage, and even root status. It'll pick up if your phone is rooted or not. If it's picking up weak charging, it'll also let you know, and it'll also store that information. Now, some of the other stuff you're able to do is do a storage manager. So inside of here, this is where you're able to free up a little bit of storage. You can also go over here and do a speed test. So if you wanted to test how, how fast your speed is for Wi-Fi, right now it is already connected onto the Wi-Fi. So here we go. Let's see what my Wi-Fi speeds are. And then if you'd like to test over it with your mobile, so this will be using the normal cell phone towers that you're using, which this one right here should be AT&T, or if you're using Verizon or Sprint, then this is where you're able to start another speed test. Now, if the speed test is something that doesn't really float your boat, you really don't care about how fast your Wi-Fi or your mobile is, maybe definitely this one over here for your battery forecast is one that might grab your attention. So right now I'm at 64%. It will be empty by Monday, which is today at 6.34 p.m. Now, if you do charge it, it'll kind of, if you if you scroll it along this line, it'll show you where you are. So let's say that I only have time to charge it for 30 minutes, it will put it up to 76%. Um, and if I was to go right over here, maybe I wanna see how long it'll take me to charge it fully, it'll take one hour and 24 minutes. Now, just so you know, these minutes and hours that you see right here is not the fast charge speed. This is a normal little cable charging because it doesn't really know if you're able to use the normal wall mount that you have or a USB cable that's plugged into a computer. The next and last diagnostic tool inside of this entire category is going to be battery optimizer. So it's looking at different things. It's able to change um, to save you a little bit more battery. So right here, this 
this one is actually saving battery by having the sound off. And if I have the sound on, it will be consuming some of the battery. So you can turn this off to actually save a little bit more. Also, my screen timeout is set at two minutes. Now I can actually have this one turned off and it's gonna save battery because it will do a screen timeout at 15 seconds. Now, if you go through and you toggle some of these, it will ask for the permission for Samsung Plus to make the changes. So just choose yes. And as you go through some of these toggles, it will do it for you. You can also check out your auto brightness, um, your Wi-Fi off. So one of the things that is you know pretty big about this one is going to be your Wi-Fi. So if you always have your Wi-Fi on, it's always consuming battery because it's always searching or trying to connect even if you're driving through town and then also obviously it's going to be uh, this Bluetooth option here Bluetooth does also consume your battery but really not too much because it is low energy now there is a little banner on the bottom over here where it says Samsung Plus needs to access the system settings to boost the battery performance and again this is where you give it that um, ability to go through for the device settings now back on the main page of diagnostics inside the Samsung Plus, you can see that these are the four categories we just got done going through. Now I started on the very top and this is where those four different tabs were on the very top of this page. Now if you don't wanna go through the tabs and you wanna to go to one right away, you are able to do that option. Now looking at the rest of everything else, we moved right back over into the home page. This is where it's just kind of showing you some highlights of what Samsung thinks is important or that you might like. Um, over here is going to be learning. If you'd like to learn more about stuff with the Galaxy Note 9, you can do some troubleshooting, getting started, skills and everything else. Checking out community, you're able to check out different keywords that'll pull up some community stuff. And then here is the get help. So you can go to get help over here or you can hit the plus button over on this side. This is where you're able to do a video chat and this will let you know when you're able to do it. And this one is with live support from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then here's the call support. It tells you all the different times. So this is a fun way that you are able to get a little bit of support. If you really don't want to call them, you can do it as a video chat and you can also do it as a text chat. And you will automatically start off with a bot. It'll try to help you out initially with a bot service, trying to maybe answer something that it already has in its arsenal. If not, then you are able to talk to a real person and you're basically texting somebody that works with Samsung. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. You can also see how this application here will definitely help you out. It's another way of, of reading and seeing different resources in a whole new way. You can diagnose your phone if you would like to do that by yourself, and you can also get help from Samsung. Now again, if you guys like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side, that little red circle. Hit that button. It will get you subscribed. Share this video with your friends and family family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>